Today, we're diving into a topic that affects countless families, how restraining orders can impact child custody and visitation rights. So if you or someone you know is struggling with this situation, you're going to want to stick around to the end. Welcome to My Court Coach, a channel that's dedicated to helping you win in court without an attorney. I'm Maria. I'm a California-based family law attorney. And if you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe to hit that notification bell so you can be notified and not miss any of our videos or the weekly live streams that we do that covers various legal issues to help you handle your legal matter. Okay, so let's start by clarifying what a restraining order is. It's a legal order that's issued by a court to provide immediate protection from abuse or, har or harassment by a family member or a household member. This can include physical violence, threats, or other abusive behaviors. And now there are different types of restraining orders in California. For example, there's a domestic violence restraining order or a DVRO and an emergency protective order or an EPO. A DVRO can be requested during a divorce case in California where one party is seeking protection from various emotional or physical harm from the other party. If it's granted, it can set limits on the behavior of that party who committed the violent acts, particularly when there is reasonable grounds to fear violence against you or your children. Whereas an EPO is typically instituted if abuse is determined to be imminent and the courts are not open. So in this scenario, the victim of domestic violence may request the assistance of law enforcement in filing for and obtaining an EPO. Restraining orders can be temporary orders that last for a short period of time or until a judge can decide whether they want to grant a more permanent order if it should be made. And these types of restraining orders can affect child custody and visitation differently. So we've done other videos on this topic, especially related to restraining orders, so be sure to check out those videos too. Now let's talk about how those protective orders can impact child custody arrangements. When a restraining order is in place, the court prioritizes the safety of the child or the children and the victim. This often means limiting or supervising the abusive parent's contact with the child. Visitation rights can also be affected too. In many cases, the court may order supervised visitations to ensure the child's safety during visits with the abusive parent. The terms and conditions of visitation, if any, are typically outlined in the restraining order. If emergency or temporary order states that there is to be no visitation of the child, then the other party would have to abide by that order unless or until a court says otherwise at a subsequent hearing. The family court judge has the ability to carve out a temporary order that may allow the other party to see the child if it feels that in doing so, it's in the child's best interest. That's always the standard. Keep in mind that restraining orders and custody arrangements are not set in stone. They can be modified based on changing circumstances. If the situation improves or worsens, either parent can request a modification. Thank you for joining us on My Court Coach today. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from this information. And as always, if you found if you have questions or if there's other topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Stay informed, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.